Sky sources have revealed that Jamal Khashoggi's body parts have apparently been found. We know that the Turkish authorities were looking in a forest area uh, on the outskirts of Istanbul for uh, these body parts and that apparently something has been found. In the last couple of hours, we heard from the Turkish president, uh, President Erdogan, who pointed the finger very, very clearly at the uh, Saudi authorities and said that he had a number of questions that he wanted the Saudi authorities to answer. Uh, in the last couple of moments, Saudi Arabia has said that it will hold account those responsible for Hashoji's killings, whoever they are. This is according to the Saudi king. Well, let's cross to our correspondent, Alex Crawford, who is in Istanbul. And Alex, tell us about the latest that you found. Well, we've been speaking to a number of sources, both very um, well-placed sources uh, within the investigation and also within political circles. Uh, and um, they've been telling us separately, first of all, that uh, Jamal Khashoggi's body parts have been discovered. They had been um, cut up. I understand there's some fairly grisly detail about how his face had been disfigured uh, somewhat. Um, there is a suggestion from the second source. Um, he is uh, very, very um, highly placed, as I say, within political circles, and uh, he has connections uh, within the, pros the prosecutor's office that uh, those body parts were discovered in the garden of the consul general's home. Uh, we're just outside the property. This, the consul general's property was a part of a focus, a very big focus of um, the forensic investigators. They took uh, some time to get in it, into it, more than two weeks later. We ourselves witnessed some of those forensic investigators examining the garden. Uh, we know that they took soil samples from there and that they were trying to match DNA samples uh, taken of, of Jamal Khashoggi with samples that they um, collected inside the Consul General's residence. Other reports suggested, and we know from CCTV footage, that parts of the 15-man so-called Saudi hit squad, there was a lot of movement between the consulate and the Consul General's residence with vehicles being moved, particularly they focused on a number of uh, vehicles which had diplomatic plates and had darkened windows and which were seen reversing into the back. Behind that uh, security uh, block, you can, there is a garage, a carport. We saw the cars reversing into there and they then stayed there for a number of, of hours. Um, the investigators were focusing on what was in the car, what was being transported into the Consul General's residence. According to our sources, in that car, uh, or certainly what was being transported to the Consul General residence, were parts of Jamal Khashoggi's body having been cut up. Now, the, the line being perpetuated from the Saudis is that the body was rolled up in a rug and handed to a local collaborator. And the Turkish president uh, made a big point of this in his speech earlier today, say, so throwing quite a lot of and hinting at quite a lot of scepticism about whether this local collaborator existed at all uh, and suggesting that um, the Saudis needed to give them much much more information about who this local collaborator was so that uh, he and the investigators could be led to the, bo to the body and the corpse. I understand, so he was directly contradicting what our sources have later told us. To be fair, those sources only revealed that information to us after the president had spoken. And there is a suggestion that perhaps the body parts could have been spread over a number of different uh, addresses. You mentioned earlier that one uh, point of, of, of focus was also Belgrade forest in Istanbul, as well as an address near the Sea of Marmara, which is some distance away, about half, an hour and a half drive away. We know, according to what President Erdogan said in his address this morning, that a, an advance party of about three um, Saudis went out and were spotted investigating the forest ahead of Jamal Ghashoggi's killing on October the 2nd. 